Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. How to start Straight Razor Shaving Series. Most asked questions for you. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with Straight Razor, you're getting a better shave. Let's look at your most asked questions starting right now. Peck a rope. Actually, after the second and even third pass, is there still a feeling of just a hint of stubble? Or is it absolutely clean if you touch it with your hand in every direction? I usually have problems getting 100% clean, especially the neck, mustache area, and the chin. The more you rub, the more you will feel that stubble. Now, you're talking about some really tricky areas and it's hard to get 100% on those areas. So, just try going in different directions and from different uh, angles to see if you can keep finding a closer, better way to shave. I'm doing this all the time with my shave. Manish asked, how much time did it take you to be so fluent with both hands? Any tips you can share? All right, so basically I got pretty fluent with both hands in around six months, okay? Not my tip for you though is use both your hands for everyday tasks. So use your non-dominant hand, for me it's this one, Use that for everyday task and get used to using it and it will make your transition into straight razor shaving with both hands much easier. Now, as far as other tips, you can jumpstart your straight razor shaving by doing a straight razor shave challenge. And for me, I've done it twice already. For me, I would say use one straight razor, 30 shaves in a row. It doesn't have to be 30 days, but 30 shaves in a row. And you could even use the same soap if you would like, but it's very important to use the same razor so you can get good at that one razor. And then it will transfer over into everything else that you're doing. Now, here's the thing with this, okay, even after you've done 30 shaves, really that's the start and it will be a great foundation for you, all right? Now, also, we have the same type of question from ACL84FLA, all right? And his question, is how long was it before it became natural for you? Now, this is a whole nother question. Being fluent with the hands and being totally natural, okay, totally natural took me personally between nine months to a year to get just where it's totally natural and feels right, okay? And again, when you're doing this, 30 shaves in a row, okay? It doesn't have to be 30 days, 30 shaves in a row will get you started and build up some great muscle memory in both hands. And just take your time because in the beginning, it's gonna take a, a bit of time. Take your time, relax, enjoy it, and enjoy the journey. Yeah, that's important. Douglas asked, do you use any tape on that smiling frame back when you hone it and what gauge tape? All right, good question. I will use this high temperature captain tape instead of the 88 electrical tape. Yeah. Now, let me get you some specs on that. The high temperature captain tape, the film thickness is one mil thick or 0.03 millimeters. The silicon adhesive on that tape is 1.6 mil thick 
or 0.04 millimeter thick, which gives a total of 2.6 mils or 0.07 millimeters for a total thickness, all right? And it is thinner than the Scott's Vinyl Electrical Tape, the Super 88, which runs in at 8.5 mils or 0.22 millimeters total thickness. Now, what this allows me to do is I can put two, three layers of the Captain Tape on a straight razor while I'm honing it in dial it in on that spine thickness and it for me lasts longer and does a better job next up here we go boogeyman 77 has a question do you recommend putting strop dressing on a brand new strop or once you have used it for a while all right this is a good question now strops come just like these back here strops come prepped and ready okay to go all you need to do is rub your hand on it and warm up that leather now here's the thing after say nine months or something like that if you feel that that leather is drying out then it is time to put on the strop dressing okay but before that, you won't need to do it, especially if you have a brand new strop. All right, got another question from ACL84FLA. After you're done with your shave, will your razor still pop hairs off your forearm? Now, I have never tried this before, okay? But we are going to try it live right now on this video so let's give it a go all right i have uh, got four razors let's just see what happens so i have got my frederick herder and son ace of spades this is the number 49 with bone handles and inlay this is a 15 16 blade full hollow let's see if it will work all right so now normally i don't do it everything like this this high but let's try okay and let's see okay the toe is popping hairs the middle is popping hairs and yes the heel is popping hairs on this razor now i just wiped off the razor wax. All I do is after I shave, I will clean that blade, put razor wax on it and put it away. This has not been stropped since the last shave and it will treetop hairs. Now, let's look at the next one because you know, it could be an anomaly, I don't know. So this is my Wade and Butcher Chef Field out of the mid 1800s. This is horn and it is, yeah, a near wedge. So let's see what this one will do. Again, I, I really don't know because I have not tried these. Let's just see. Okay, the toe is popping hairs. Yeah, the middle is popping hairs and yeah. Okay, the toe and middle popping hairs, the heel, not so much on this one. All right, now go ahead. <laughs> Maybe I should go to the other arm, but Let's look at my Miyake Best Silver Steel. This is Japanese made, and this is a 15 16 blade, quarter hollow now. All right, so let's go ahead and 
Just see what happens on this one. Okay, toes popping hairs. Yeah, middle is popping hairs. And the heel, popping hairs. There you go. And all of these razors, okay, have, I just wiped off the razor wax. I did not, I didn't strop them, not at all. Now, as a control, here we go. This is my Parker SRB. This is a Chevette. That has got a half of a DE blade in it, and that's half of a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade. And this has got like three shaves on it. Let's just see. You know, I, I've never tried this with this either. Okay. Okay, well, this is still start sharp enough to pop hairs. Okay, so there you go. Can you pop hairs and have that blade treetop hairs after you shave? In my case, yes. Yes, I can. Okay, now... Uh, I'm not sure if this is the norm. If anybody else has tried this or if you're watching this and you want to try it, let us know what your results are, okay? Mike asked, do you only use straights or do you own and use safety razors from time to time? For me, I only use straights, okay? Once in a while, when I'm traveling, I will use my Parker SRB for the travel because it's just easier. I don't have to bring as much equipment. Now, I do have a Mercure, and it's a 42C, and it's closed comb, but I haven't used it in over five years because I just enjoy straight razor shaving that much. Mike continues, do you hone razors? I have honed razors for people in the past, but it is generally for the people that need to have a starting place for their honing. And I don't actually have a honing service or anything like that. So for me, I just hone my own razors. Norman asked, can you tell me what is the name of the alum cube that you use and maybe where I can get it? I can. Okay. So here is what's left of the one I'm using right now. Okay. This is what it started out as. This is a crystal deodorant. This is fantastic deodorant as well. Okay but I use it as an alum block. Just open it up and it has this. You, you can actually adjust it, okay? What I've found though is I don't like it in the container because this container will eventually get stuck. So what I do is take it out of the container and then I'll go ahead and put a rubber band around the bottom to give me something to hold on to. So, here's the thing, okay? This started out as this, yep. And it's brilliant. And it is alum, and it can also be a deodorant. So, that's a good thing. Robert asked, how do you bevel a sharpening stone? Well, what I will start with is my DMT diamond plate. This is the D8C, and it has got diamond embedded in this side. It is actually quite wore out, as you can see. But what I will do is you get the stone and you get your diamond plate wet and keep them wet and then you just rub 
on all the corners and you can knock down those corners and get a nice chamfer on that stone. Douglas wrote, love that Wade and Butcher. Did you restore it yourself? Okay, so that is this one. And the answer to that is no. I actually bought this off of eBay, fully restored with the horn scales, and it has just been brilliant and I'm able to enjoy it. I really am. Now, I do have a, a couple, maybe more than a couple, project razors that I will be doing a light restoration on in the future. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming. Josh asked, have you ever gotten a serious boo-boo when shaving? And I have actually. Uh, when I first started, I was using my Parker and this is the SRB with a half a DE blade in it. And basically what I did is I came in right under that nose too hot. Yeah. And it wasn't good. It wasn't a good thing at all. However, I was really happy because I had my Allen block, which actually didn't do that much for that particular cut, but I did have my Steptic pencil. And this Steptic pencil is a wonder worker. This is a good one. You need to have this when you're straight razor shaving at all times, because if you get a cut, this is going to be the thing you're going to need. All right. So keep that in mind. And other than that, I really haven't had any uh, major problems. Uh, I hit a bump or two here and there. No big deal. And my biggest problems right here. Okay. I'm telling you those straight razors have got my hands several times where I've used butterfly stitches and super glue to put myself back together again. Yeah. So it's always good to have the right equipment. And that also includes having super glue, having butterfly stitches, having band-aids handy. Secret Armor asked, will I get in trouble when I home with tape on the spine and strop without tape on the spine? Great question. I have tested this, okay? Because this is something I was curious about. So I've tested it and it makes absolutely no difference. Go ahead, home with tape on the spine, you're fine, and you can strop without tape and you'll be all good. Like this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see how to start straight razor shaving the series from the beginning. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.